On today's episode of T-Man 978 Chill Review, I unveil the contents of the Netflix Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy spoiler pack. So for one final time, until I find Hotlink, settle down and Netflix and chill review with me. T-Man 978 Chill Review. Alright, so I cut the tape right there. And uh, do I even need to cut the tape there? Because I cut the tape over here and it looks like it opens up this way. And I don't know what that stuff says, but here's how we're going to experience this. Looks like this pulls off. And there's something black in there. So... I'm gonna have to open that up and reveal that. And then in here, I already know what this is. Y'all already know. Actually, amazingly, even though this news has been out forever, somebody told me what was in it. I'm like, I thought this was just common knowledge at this point. But so far, we have Ultra Magnus's back. Instruction manuals, and we have <sighs> why am I forgetting his name? But I guess it's gonna be on here, isn't it? Rung Battlefield Rung. <laughs> Both of these are repaints, and oh man, I'm gonna need to cut it out and look at it, but in person. This paint job is looking a little bit better than the old one. Because <laughs> it's like pure white and it's like painted. Like even the back, that's painted. I could tell that's painted on the first figure or the first release. It was just regular plastic and that's painted as well. Let me get that out of there. And then I need to open up the other stuff. All right, we're going to start things off Lil with the Battle Masters. Right here we have Starburst Rung, and over here we have Jolly Rancher Rung. rung. Starburst Rung came with these blast effects right here. I'm going to show them on him later. And Jolly Rancher Rung, or as they're calling him, Battlefield Rung, comes with these effects. They are the exact same mold, just different color plastics, and the chest... What's different over here is it's silver with a lighter blue. The legs are painted over here, which aren't painted right there. And the body parts, like the arms and the crotch over here, are a different hue than the legs and the body and the head. I wonder why they did that. And neither one of them have paint on the back. Their articulation goes like this. Arms are on a ball joint right here. Legs are on a ball joint they go up they go back a little bit and it has waist rotation it's fun that they have waist rotation but i wish it had knees on both legs that that would have been awesome knees and a head rotation and both of them have hollow back of the heads since this guy is simple i'm going to show his transformation off Ultra Magnus is exactly the same besides the color scheme, so you can go to my review to see that if you need to see transformation stuff. But you put the legs together, pull this over here, and basically move the arms up in here. And the, yeah, <laughs> that's that. Now he is some type of device. Um, he had some major important role in the IDW comics before they restarted with the Siege comic line. Well, I don't know what that is because I stopped reading the books. But anywho, these blast effects go on here. Like this. You can have it rotated like that. Or like this, if you want. And bigger Transformers can wield him as you can see right here this is transformer siege hound right there you might be saying to yourself t-man you're supposed to rotate the waist but that's not in the instructions it wasn't in his instructions and it's not in his instructions i just looked to make sure but this is what 
you're working with here. One doesn't look like a solid robot. The other one does. This one has these effects right here that sort of like look like some type of drilling special effect. I really like these. And these are cool too. Like lightning or something. Let's let you see that really up close. Well, there you are. It's like fire almost at the bottom and then it erupts into the lightning waves. And now here we are with the Ultra Magni. In package, he doesn't have his weapons on him. This isn't changed right here. It's just a black gun. It's black on him, so there is no paint on either one. Basically, you attach it to the side of the legs right here. These guns really have nothing to do with him. They're really uh, like a pre-mold situation because they're going to use them for Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. And then you have the missiles that Ultra Magnus is known for. They're not painted at all, as you can see here. Here's his painted. This white plastic, or like kind of like an off-white plastic with the red tip painted right there. This is just dark gray plastic right there. So we put these on both sides. And then there's the gun. This is a... From what I can see, a red plastic gun painted silver. This is just a blackish gray gun right there. You can see the handle right there that lets you know that this is red. And I'm getting deja vu because I think I, I'm saying some stuff I said in his review. I'm going to wind up having to watch that over again. But other than that, I hope you're looking. I'm noticing that they have this black gunmetal paint on his hand right here the inside of his arm right there is the gray color on here it's just blue with the rusty or battle worn scrape paint on it this is blue with the battle worn scrape paint on there he has this his legs are white with the battle worn black no it's like a gunmetalish color right there and then the legs are just white plastic with this silver trim and red paint right there and that. And he has the battle worn paint on there. This is painted. Over here though, he is the gray plastic. All his old body is the gray plastic. Pretty much just like everybody else. Now some of this is blue, it's not all and some of it's white. So it's not all grayish plastic painted. But it is there. Um, this is grayish paint. This is. This appears to be blue plastic. With the gray. Paint painted on. In reverse of what they normally been doing. These are gray. With a little bit of hint of blue right there. To show you. So it's the same thing I've been saying about all of them. This is the gray with white paint right there. So I like this pure white look right here and I can see they painted his not only did they paint some of the thigh right there but that joint right there is painted and it kind of looks like and I'll see when I take him out of this shell but this is painted as well and there you can see the crotch is gray here but it's white there that's painted this is looks like again blue plastic with gray right there the face on the spoiler pack seems to be a darker straight shade of gray. And as you can see, these are gray plastic again, whereas this is painted silver. The shoulders and all of this right here is the gray plastic. Where over there is white plastic and this is painted blue. This is painted blue right there. But they put a hint of white on this shoulder pylon. To show you that it used to be white before he got all dusty and damaged and dirty. And as I stated before, I even took him out of the box. This has rusty silver battle worn paint down there. Whereas this looks a little bit cleaner to be honest. And this is all paint right here. And this is straight up plastic. So, yeah. To remind you 
it's gonna have the same articulation when I take the shell off, so the head can do that, can rotate, can't really tilt too much. The arm spins around, goes out like that, bicep swivel, elbow bends 90 degrees, and the wrist rotates. And both wrists has that paint right there, that dirty paint on the back. It has waist rotation. The legs, it has a ratchet in there. You can kick all the way out, go out. That's not ratcheted. Swivel at the thigh, knee bends, and ankle pivot, and that's tight. Now, let me see, because I don't remember this having ratchets, but my memory. Yeah, that got ratchets too, so yeah. And let's do this on him. His leg is staying up. On that side, at least. Stand up on that side, too. And these ankle pivot are tight, so... Yeah. That's not all that great. That don't want to stay up at all. This is the issue I think I had with the Galaxy Upgrade Conway. And I'm barely shaking it, and that's coming down, so... Yeah. When you get him in the pose, he's going to keep it. But he's not going to hold his leg out if you're trying to take pictures. If the slightest bump or shake, that leg is probably going to come down. But he's decently posable. My problem with this design, and yes, I know they have an upgrade kit for pre-order right now. You can, ex with the upgrade kit, you can extend the legs. They're making a kit for this guy and that guy. You can ex extend the thighs. And that's what I feel like is wrong with this design. He looks like super duper friggin' blocky. And that has driven me up the wall and not made him one of my favorite ones, favorite figures. But honestly, yeah, now that I see it in person, in pictures, I didn't like it too much. But in person, you can't go wrong either way. If you missed out on him, this is a good substitute. And they threw in some extras. That spoiler stuff, I'm going to show at the end. But I even like this. That looks nice. That paint right there is way better than this. Oh, one thing I did want to mention. When I opened it, these weren't clipped on. There's a little tab right here that I had a problem with one of his arms where it doesn't want to go in there. When I messed with it, it did click and stayed so that's good on both sides so that's better at least on this copy i guess it should be mentioned that all the weapons could connect together and become a big giant mega weapon and of course he can hold these two guns if he wants but they're hollow on the inside and i have never liked that here they are in their non-powered up moods and as you can see this guy has paint. It's the same thing. Let me hold a gun. I wanted to just show them holding the gun. But he has the paint on the forearm. He has asymmetrical burnt up paint right there on that shoulder. He has it on his actual shoulders. The whole body right here is painted. Instead of just being white plastic. But that would be a cool good thing. But I see that paint took away from the paint inside of here there's silver paint inside of there to give you the impression that he does have mechanical workings in here on this guy that is completely hollow and see-through right there and while we're zoomed in look at the face on this guy he has silver around his eyes and just the mouth is blue but on this one they painted the whole face blue with the red eyes so it's still paint there, but that can come off looking cheap a little bit. Here's an even closer look at that. So yeah, your mileage will vary anyway, but up close you can tell that the chest is painted on him and not painted there. And they didn't paint the headlights. I mean, the whatever you call these lights on the top, somebody tell me. They also didn't paint the crotch. And as you can see, the shoulders are gun metal -y plastic. I mean, the, the biceps. Let's let you see the back. All of this is painted on his outer part of his leg, but 
this appears to just be plastic with the burn then right there and he just has the silver kneecaps and not too much paint down here at all besides what's on his thighs and the little tattoo right here which is different but yeah same articulation the knee bends a little bit more probably since it doesn't have all that stuff hanging off and this is on the back instead of the butt now and you can see right here that burnt paint goes all the way right there and there's none on this side and he doesn't have an Autobot logo did he have one powered up? I don't think he had one powered up either. And that quick, I gotta take that back. He does have an Autobot logo right there. That's the only Autobot logo that I've seen. I'll look at his pieces again, and, and if I notice it on the pieces, I'll bring that up. I almost completely forgot I will have to show off this before combining all of his parts, because I don't like what this looks like with the hands all dangling out and obviously legs. It just looks like a robot sitting down in a chair with wheels on his butt. Well, here you are. And once again, hollowness in here or no paint lets you see that there's something floating about in there. You don't know what it is, but yeah. I mean, I guess maybe they wanted it to be transparent to look like a window, but they could at least put some paint down here. And since he's already in truck mode, here is Earthrise Optimus who is a little bit smaller or not as tall I should say but yeah I definitely like his robot mode better than these I wonder will they take this and give him a shell to wrap around it alright here are the truck modes as you can imagine this one is darker in certain areas more dirty looking the guns are dark and whatnot. You can still, of course, see into the windshield or whatever. Since this is like one massive chunk, it does not rotate like a real truck would. So he's just basically like a big armored carrier and whatnot. The paint that I was talking about, it feeds out right there to make that black. And up here, you can see that that's all red mostly. That's what you're working with here. And one thing that I didn't notice on the previous version there is silver paint inside of there on the barrel but on this one there is not so that's what you're dealing with there in one of the smokestacks or whatever you would call this on cybertron is black of course the front looks different but you already saw that if you wanted to with this being a car carrier whatnot but it's completely inconvenient you could put micro masters inside of there while you're setting this all up. I think you might even be able to get one in between there where his feet are. Uh, here's what the rears look like. But yeah. So, of course you have all tons of options on where you want the gun placement and what not to be. Uh, yeah. It's cool. I wish he was bigger, but that's something I wish with this. Leader class is shrunk. I never liked this gap. I didn't bring that up when I showed him as a regular truck. Um, yeah. With him being like still some type of car carrier, it would have been nice if this could have pulled down. You can't really get any of the features in this mode. It's just a big, solid, hollow block. But that's what he looked like as a car carrier anyway, so you can't complain too much. But anyhow, let's find out what's in that spoiler pack. Now, I saw some of this, but I didn't see all of it. Let's cut that. Open. Cut past this. This thing is feeling doughy. Come on. Ugh. Come on, let me get this tape out of the way and come back. All right, now this is like a spongy looking substance right there. I don't know if this is Play-Doh. I thought this was like a black bag when I saw it, so. Ugh. So. 
I'm guessing this is black Play-Doh. <laughs> I did not. I thought this was a black bag when I saw it. So, all it is under that Play-Doh is a bag of pink Energon cubes. They are solid plastic. And, yeah, that's that. I had no idea how this worked. So that's cool. I will shove this back up in here and let Nate Simmons rediscover that when he gets it. So, yeah, this set is cool. Um, $60 is the retail Walmart exclusive. Uh, this guy would normally be $50 by himself, but you get rung. And let's let you see that Rung can sit up here and he can shoot people as he sees fit. I don't see Rung as a warrior, but I didn't finish the comics to find out what was going on with him. And I don't know how he may be in this actual series. He may be a completely different character or he might not even be in the show. So... Rung would be retail by himself $6. So the extra $4 that you're paying to make this $60 is for this Play Doh and the Energon cubes. So if you think that's all worth it, you're good to go. This is a great deco. I don't know if you will like it more than the basic G1 deco, which is definitely good enough. And that will definitely stop me from going out to get this pack. Now, it is a Walmart exclusive. Lord knows how long those will actually stay on the shelf. Especially once people realize what it is and start buying it. Or maybe it'll go on clearance real quick. Who knows? I don't know. I'm, I'm honestly not. I do like this color scheme. But I think I'm going to stick to my guns and keep this one. And buy that upgrade kit that I saw. For that I need to hurry up and pre-order that before it goes away. I, I'm not a big upgrade kit person. But I really want that upgrade set for this to make him look better. Anywho, if you like this video, it helped you in any type of way. Let me know in the comments. Let me know by ax you actually clicking the like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I don't know why you haven't subscribed by now if you watched all this. I, I have more reviews. And if you like this style and you watch to this point in the video, come on. Come on. You're going to like my future videos. Which one of my future videos is going to be for this guy right here. And this girl right there. Or lady. Let me say lady. Daniel, thank you all for watching this. Until next time, T-Man 978, out of here. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos.